There are a couple books that you can buy. This is one of them. You can get this off of Tesla's website. What I did was I sent it to Staples online and they printed it out and I just went to the store and picked it up. But it's combustion analysis. It's a free PDF that Testo has. You really want to check that out. Just go to Testo online, go to combustion analyzers, and then in that area somewhere there's a document that says, or there's a link that says downloads, I think. Go ahead and check that out. It's pretty cool. Alright, so my gas pressure, I've got another book I'll show you in just a second. It's 3.7, so that's a little high. So I'm going to show you how I adjust that. There's a big screw, there's a big brass screw. We'll take that off. Hope you can see that, okay. Okay, I hit the wrong button. I don't know if that interfered or not, but. So we're going to do this one and show you. So right there. This, there's a brass screw. I know it's kind of blurry. But anyways, there's another screw inside there. We're going to turn that until we get our gas pressure to 3.5. I'm going to back it down. It's 3.6, 3.55, 3.2. I mean, these are just very small little turns. Try to get it on 3.5. I'm going to put this screw back in here. It's not being off a little bit. It will make a big difference in your, in your reading when you're doing your combustion analysis. It's carbon oxide readings. So let's get back up here. I'm sorry about the jerking. Now. now. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to hit clipboard. That's going to save it for me. I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to go ahead and do my draft. Hit OK. I'm going to have to pull this out real quick so it'll zero out. 10 seconds to zero. Put it back in. All right. What we're looking for. This is your stack temperature, and right below here, we're pulling it. It says we're pulling it in a vacuum at a negative 0.04. That number needs to be between negative 0.02 and negative 0.04. The closer it gets to zero, if it said minus 0 0.005, the closer it is to zero, it tells you that there's a blockage in the chimney. The lower the number, or actually it will be the higher the number, means that it's flowing through pretty good. Now on warmer days, this number is going to be higher. On the colder days, it's going to be a little lower. All right, so the furnace just kicked off. My father-in-law may have turned it off. He may be getting too hot in there. All right, so let me pause this and see what happened. But we're done with this anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and... Well, he messed me up. Let me go ahead and turn it back on and I'll redo this. Alright, sorry about that guys. The furnace had kicked off. I guess I didn't turn the furnace that high enough. But anyways, that's the draft. We're going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to hit escape. Go back up to flue gas. We're going to go ahead and get that reading. We're on natural gas. I'm going to hit start. Once it zeroes, it won't have to zero again. So it's let it run for a few minutes. Let it balance out. We're going to look at our carbon monoxide. That needs to be, you know, almost every one that I read is going to be under 10. Efficiency of the furnace is what it's running at right now is 82%. This is going to be your excess air, carbon dioxide. Uh, I don't know how this thing picks up CO ambient. I've got to look into that. It always reads 11. I don't have a probe hooked up to it, so I don't know how it's picking that up. It's 80 degrees in this room right now. 
So, from what I'm reading here, everything looks pretty good. I don't really see anything off. Uh, so we're going to hit save. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my printer on up here. There's my printer. And this is going to allow me to print out all the information. I've put my company I work for, my phone number, which I'm going to walk that out. It just kind of prints out everything. My gas pressure, my draft, uh, it prints out all the flu gas analysis that we've done. It gives you the date and time. So, printout's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to have that information. Alright, so that's basically the combustion analysis. Alright guys, I was going to show you the how to measure the airflow at the 435 and I'm not going to do that today. I'm actually getting ready to shoot another video after this one on air conditioners. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works with the air conditioner settings. Like 85 degrees in the house right now. He's not here right now, I thought he was home, but he's not here right now, thank God. Uh, but if you want to go over the couple books again, uh, combustion analysis by Testo, pretty good read. How uh, many pages is it? It's like 52 pages, pretty good. Go to their website, download it. This is a book by Going Green, it's combustion analysis and fuel efficiency. This is a lot more thorough. It's 132 pages, I think. 132 pages. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for this. I think it's like 20 bucks. I don't know. But look at a film green combustion analysis. They're both really good for okay. It takes you step by step on how to do these tests. Well, what the reading don't tell you how to do the test. It tells you what the, tells you what the meanings are for all the different uh, readings on there. So it's pretty good. All right. Afterward, after I did all this and checked my airflow and did all that, then I would vacuum out the furnace, make sure it's all good and clean. And you know, that's about it. What I do. I don't pull blowers out unless my airflow is showing that I need to. Uh, that's what I do. Check the uh, igniter, check the flame sensor, then check the fuel pressure. Uh, I'll have to check the filter. Uh, I also check amp draws on my drafter motors, uh, blower motors. Uh, you know, it's kind of cool to check right now, but what most people don't do is combustion analysis. You can do this in about 10 minutes, maybe. It don't take. It's just not. It don't take that long. Uh, other than that, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm getting ready to do one right now on air conditioners tune up, so let's see how that one goes. Thanks, man.